Oh. Hello, Potato, and welcome to the first ever holiday edition of You Don't Have to Be Happy Hour. And not only is it the first holiday-themed You Don't Have to Be Happy Hour, I mean, if you, you don't count, like, Halloween as a holiday, I'm talking, of course, the winter holidays, but it's also the first ever You Don't Have to Be Happy Hour I'm a little apprehensive about. I legitimately do not think I'm going to like today's item. Uh, and it's one of four, actually, so we'll be doing a series of this over the next few weeks. And it is... Bud Light Seltzer's Ugly Sweater Pack. So I heard announced that they were making seltzer nog, and I thought, oh, Bud Light, seltzer, and eggnog. There's literally no combination of those words. That sounds good to me. Uh, of course, you know, Budweiser being America's favorite purveyor of fizzy recycled urine. Uh, but yeah, they've got four flavors, actually in the ugly sweater pack. I didn't, couldn't find them in singles, unfortunately, because uh, I really don't think I'm going to drink three of each of these. But the options are cranberry, sugar plum, seltzer nog, which is what got me going on this to begin with, and cherry cordial. They are 5% alcohol by volume and 100 calories each because they come in the slim cans. So at least there's less of it. Anything trying to be low calorie comes in these like slim cans. Diet Coke tried that a couple few years back. They had some good flavors in that, like, like Diet Coke Twisted or something like that. They had some good flavors in that. Uh, yep, they've gone with the ugly sweater theme, another thing that I'm frankly not here for at all. Uh, I've, I kind of stopped liking the ugly sweater thing the moment everybody else started liking it, and I frankly wasn't that into it to begin with, but hey, there's a QR code. If you want to go and buy, apparently, this sweater, I don't know if it's like that exact sweater with a QR code on it, that's actually kind of funny. But I guess maybe it's patterned like the cans. You can dress up as a can of uh, seltzer nog if you want to. I don't know. But there's you can shop the ugly sweater collection now and learn more at BudLight.com. Enjoy responsibly. Because, you know, alcohol and responsibility are two things that frequently go together. So we're going to start out this week trying... I mean, I'm trying to pick ones because, you know, we're in November still, at least when I'm recording this. And when I'm releasing this. And, you know, I, I just don't... These are probably better in December. But I don't have, like, any room. I have, like, you know, in my mind a schedule of what's going to be put out in December. And uh, it's pretty much all Lego. So there's no room. No room for Bud Light Seltzer there. So we're going to do it now. While it's new and timely. Yeah, that's right. Something I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon after it's done. I'm going to be one of the first, hopefully. Probably not. I'm sure a thousand people have done videos on this already. But anyways, today we are going to start out with Bud Light Seltzer Cherry Cordial. I like cherry cordials. Uh, always have. They get those big boxes and like the Queen Anne ones for like 99 cents at Walmart. I, have, I suspect this is going to taste nothing like that. But hey, it's apparently seltzer season. See, they, they, they can't, they can't uh, fit the whole word. I mean, they could fit the whole word season. They, just, they can't spell it probably. They can spell cordial, which is interesting. It is a hard seltzer, in case you didn't realize from the fact it says Bud Light on it. I find it weird that the whole ad campaign about this Bud Light seltzer is about people think there's beer in it. I, I mean, I don't think people think there's beer in Bud Light in general. I mean, I, obviously some somebody must because they're drinking it. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep selling it, right? It's just me. I think Budweiser is a lot, lot of why I've uh, waited so late in life to actually kind of at all get into beer. And who knows, maybe that's a good thing. So let's crack open our cherry cordial seltzer. See what we're looking at here. I'm guessing it'll just be clear. I guess not be much to look at. It's seltzer water. Yeah, it's just clear. Looks like any of those other seltzer waters, like buble and whatever else. Nothing special to look at here. No, no colored, no tints. Uh, there is a faint hint of cherry. I mean, you know, these seltzer things don't tend to be super flavorful anyways. Like that, uh-huh, beverage I tried before, which was not alcoholic. But, uh, yeah, it's, a. Uh, it does, it does smell a little of cherry and maybe a little bit, uh, maybe, like, maybe just hints of chocolate there. I, I don't know if I would guess cherry cordial if I just smelled this without context, but... I mean, maybe it's placebo effect, but I, I do, I do smell cherry cordial there. So that's a plus. We uh, at least have a good scent. But of course, 
will we have a good flavor? And I'm going to guess no. Just partially because these seltzer things don't, at least the non-alcoholic ones, don't usually have a lot of flavor. And partly because, I mean, it's Bud Light. I don't know. I, I don't know why you'd brand it that way. I don't know. But let's, let's stop talking. It's not going to get any better as it warms up. So let's try it nice and cold. Actually, yeah. That does taste very, not, not super faintly, but not like super strongly. Not, it's not like an alcohol pop. But yeah, that definitely does have a light cherry cordial flavor. It's also not disgusting. So, I mean, that's, that's a plus too. That's uh, more than I expected. Well, all right, well, maybe I will finish drinking those ones. I don't know. But it certainly makes me feel a little bit better about trying the other ones. Although, uh, Seltzer Nog still seems really suspect to me. But yeah, we'll try the next other three over the next, like, three weeks. But the Cherry Cordial Bud Light Seltzer is not offensive. It's, uh, bordering on actually good. This may be the first thing I've ever tried with Budweiser on the name. That is, a uh, decent. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Huh. And on that bafflingly high note, uh, I will thank you for watching. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did like the video at all, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, you don't have to be merry either. See you in the next video.